द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ फिनेंस और टाइम वेलो ऑफ मनी एंड दिस चैप्टर आई हैव डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पर्ट्स इन आवर फर्स्ट पार्ट आई डिस्कस्ड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट एंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट इन द सेकेंड पार्ट इन दिस पार्ट आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस टू टाइप्स ऑफ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट व्हिच इज नॉमिनल इंटरेस्ट एंड इफेक्टिव इंटरेस्ट सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज नॉमिनल इंटरेस्ट रेट एंड व्हाट इज इफेक्टिव इंटरेस्ट रेट कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट रेट आर ऑफ टू काइंड्स नंबर वन नॉमिनल इंटरेस्ट रेट एंड सेकेंड इफेक्टिव इंटरेस्ट रेट सो व्हाट इज नॉमिनल इंटरेस्ट the annual interest rate is the nominal interest rate the annual compound interest rate is called nominal rate of interest so rate nominal interest rate is nothing but rate per year which is given in your question let us denote rate per year by j and if your question do not tell you the interest rate is effective interest rate it means this is nominal interest rate when interest rate is calculated once in a year then the interest rate is said to be nominal interest rate or in that case nominal interest rate and effective interest rate is same when interest is calculated once in a year however when interest is calculated more than once in a year or when interest is compounded more than once in a year then the actual percent of interest rate per year is called effective rate of interest so what does it mean let me say it again when interest rate is calculated once in a year then the interest rate which is given in your question can be nominal interest rate and effective interest rate it is same however when interest is calculated more than once in a year then the actual interest in a year is the effective interest so let us try to understand these things more clearly let's say if you invest 100 taka in your bank account 100 taka for one year at 10% interest rate compounded annually compounded annually 100 taka for one year at 10% interest rate compounded annually then this 10% is the nominal rate the nominal rate is equal 10% and since interest rate is compounded annually therefore effective rate effective rate of interest also 10% does it make sense if you invest 100 taka for one year at 10% interest rate then the nominal rate 10% and effective rate also 10% however if you invest 100 taka for one year at 10% interest rate compounded instead of annually let's say semi annually or half yearly then nominal rate will be what nominal rate will be same in this case also 10% however what is effective interest rate in the second case let us try to calculate it since interest is calculated more than once twice in a year then effective interest rate is not 10% in stead what will be that let us first calculate it by using our previous formula we know pf equal p into 1 plus i whole to the power n but when interest is compounded semi annually then this formula will be what in the semi annually case semi annually when interest is compounded semi annually then f equal p into 1 plus i by 2 whole to the power 2n so here p means 100 taka and 1 plus i is the nominal rate or rate per year which is 10% 
divided by 2 whole to the power 2 n equal to number of years. So here number of year 1 therefore 2 into 1 and this equal 100 into 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 2 whole to the power 2 which is equal 100 into 2.1 divided by 2 whole to the power 2 and this equal to 110.25 so what is compound interest rate in this case ci compound interest equal f minus p which is equal 110.25 minus 100 which is equal 10.25 so you can put here percentage sign because your investment is 100 taka for one year so this is the effective rate of interest in this case in the second case effective rate of interest is 10.25 percent when you invest 100 taka for one year at 10 percent interest rate compounded semi-annually the, the actual interest per year is 10.25 percent this is the effective interest rate however if you if interest is compounded instead of quart semi-annually if it is compounded quarterly then the effective interest rate will be a bit bigger than the previous one 10.381 percent if the interest is compounded monthly then it will be a bit bigger than the previous one 10.471 percent and in the daily case effective interest will be 10.516 percent but we don't want to use uh, this technique always to calculate effective interest rate instead in this section we will denote uh, nominal rate nominal rate by z and effective interest rate by we will denote by re re which is equal 1 plus j by m whole to the power m minus 1 why we subtract minus 1 here we subtract p that was 100 but here and we used 100 here you see here we subtract 100 because our principal value is 1 1 so that's why we subtract 1 in this case so the effective interest rate we will use this formula in order to calculate effective interest rate the formula i have written here again you see nominal rate equal rate per year which we will denote by j in this section and i in this section we will replace by j by m where j is the nominal rate per year and m is the number of compounding periods per year number of conversions per year for example when interest is compounded semi-annually then m will be 2 when interest is compounded quarterly m will be 4 when interest is compounded monthly m will be 12 when interest is compounded daily m will be 365 so m is the number of compounding periods per year so re will be 1 plus j by m 1 plus j by m whole to the power m minus 1 now let us try to solve the same problem by using this formula which problem then i said j equal nominal rate was 10 percent and re we have calculated that was 10.25 percent re we have calculated by using this formula f equal p into 1 plus i whole to the power n but now i want to use the formula we know by this time re equal 1 plus j by m whole to the power m minus 1 
here j means 10 percent 0.1 and since interest rate compounded semi annually so m will be 2 whole to the power 2 minus 1 this equal 2.1 divided by 2 whole to the power 2 minus 1 and this equal 0 0.1025 and since we want to convert it into percentage we need to multiply this one by 100 to put percentage sign here now you can compare this result and the previous result it is same so by using this formula we can always calculate effective rate of interest now let us solve some other problems or examples you see example one Find the effective rate of 24% compounded monthly. So here 24% <coughs> is the nominal rate which is J and compounded monthly therefore M equal to 12 and we need to calculate RE. So given that J equal 24% which is this M equal to 12 and RE equal to what? Therefore, by using this formula, RE equal 1 plus 24 percent divided by 12 whole to the power 12 minus 1. And after simplification, you will get this result. If you want to convert it into percentage sign, it will be 26.82 percent. So, you see, effective interest rate is a bit bigger than the nominal rate. Example 2 find the effective rate of interest of 16 percent compounded quarterly therefore m equal to 4 so by using the same formula we can calculate re that will be 16.99 percent so effective interest rate is a bit bigger than the nominal rate if you calculate it monthly instead of quarterly then what will happen in the effective interest rate let us calculate effective interest rate of 16 percent compounded monthly then this result will be what 1 plus j by 12 all to the power 12 minus 1 and effective interest rate will be a bit bigger than this one and in this case it will be 17.22 percent you can check it when you are calculating effective interest rate of 16 percent compounded quarterly then this is the result however compounded monthly it will be a bit bigger than the previous result what is the nominal rate of interest compounded monthly on a company that has a 7.77 percent rate of effective interest annually so effective interest rate uh, we know R E equal 1 plus J by M or to the power M minus 1. We know this formula and here we are given nominal rate compounded monthly. We need to calculate nominal rate equal to what? and since it is compound monthly m will be 12 and re is given which is 7.77 percent and which is equal 0 0.0777 so let us put this given information in this formula 0 0.0777 is equal 1 plus j by 12 whole to the power 12 minus 1 this implies if you put, take 1 in the left side it will be 1.0777 and we have in the left side 1 plus j by 12 whole to the power 12 and this implies 1 plus j by 12 equal 12th root 
on 1.0777 taking 12th root on both sides and this implies j equal 12 times uh, 12th root of 0 0.1.0777 and this one if you take in the right side it will be minus 1. So now by using your calculator you can calculate it that will be 0 0.075 0.6 and if you want to put a percentage sign here we need to multiply this number by 100 so that will be 7.506 percent which will be equal to 1.51 percent we can write so the required uh, nominal interest rate will be 7.51 percent so let me review the topic again uh, nominal rate means rate per year and the interest rate which is given in your question is, is the nominal interest rate <clears throat> and when interest is compounded more than once in a year then the actual interest rate per year is the effective interest rate effective interest rate also known as effective annual interest rate effective annual interest rate the actual interest per year when interest is calculated more than once in a year is the effective rate of interest or effective annual interest rate and effective rate of interest we can calculate by using this formula to calculate effective in annual interest rate we need two informations we just need nominal rate and number of compounding periods per year and here we solve three problems hope you understand all those problems and if you have any question you can write on the comment box thank you very much for your watching in our next class we will discuss different types of annuity thank you very much for your watching